What do you want? Like, why are you here? What? Why are you coming out here recording me? What you mean? It's Christmas. I'm, I've been calling and texting your phone. Okay. What What do you need? Like, what, what's it's up? It's Christmas. I can't drop my daughter gifts off. Um, I hope you got gifts from my other kids too. If you dropping off gifts. Why would I have to have? Why would I have to have gifts for your other kids? Don't be my kids. What you mean? Like they gonna be? They need toys too. Like, bro, don't. Miss, that's not my responsibility. You can't just drop off toys for your kids and I got other kids in my house. What do you? You don't mean? make no sense. That's not my responsibility. My kids is my responsibility. They uh, daddy is in jail. That ain't I don't got nothing care. to do with me. Exactly. So if you're bro. dropping off gifts, they about to be jealous. Like that's not gonna work. I'm not. Nah. Bro, that's not my fault, bro. If you don't got gifts for them, I'm not taking them. Look, look, I am a daddy. My job is to take care of my kids, bro. At the end of the day, them is my kids. Them the only obligations that I got with you. The only task that I got is my kids, which I'm trying to drop off. Okay, well, you're not about to make my other kids feel bad, so nah. You can them is ahead. not my kids. Come back with other gifts. Come back with more so gifts you're not gonna, them. So, so you ain't going to take my gifts? No, I just told you. Bro, you want some bitter shit? Bro, that's bitter, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. How am I daughter supposed to feel knowing that it's Christmas, and that, but you be trying to call me a deadbeat when I be trying? Yeah, okay. You not accepting the gifts. Well, Look, like I said. You heard? That's my... Huh? Back up, gone. No, uh, let I me said no. Damn. See, I already know how you is, bro. You're going to try to call the police if I go in your house, but that's why I came. Exactly. That's why so I came gone. to knock on the door. I'm just trying to hand you the, dip, okay. the gifts. Like I said, if you ain't got gifts to them, it's slow. So, bye. Bro, you want know some, bro? This is crazy, bro. You can call anybody, bro. Anybody going to tell you, bro, it's my job to take care of my kids, bro. I don't care. Call your mama. Say, I don't care about that. Like, I don't. Go on. Like, no. Go so get I, more toys. Oh, go get more yo, gifts. Yo, it's not my kids, I don't care. No matter. Like I said, my kid's not about to feel no type of way, so. So I just wasted my money? I don't know what you did, but you can go on. Man, I'm not, bro, bro. Can I just give these to my daughter? Bro, I just told you I'm not about to keep telling you no. You bro. ain't got nothing else for them. They not about to feel no type of way because you want to just bring your daughter stuff. No, bro, I got other kids. That's why I don't like you, bro. You, I, oh, you want some evil? You the okay. devil. Yep. You is the devil, bro. Yep, I'll be that. The Bye. fuck? Bye. See, this is why I do what I do, right? Why I continue to support men. I continue to talk about men's issues because no one does. No one, no one cares to champion or support the issues of men. This is the thing where these. This is the thing that men go through that society in large ignores. How men are expected to take care of women's responsibilities. It's her responsibility on how her kids feel. It's his responsibility on how his kids feel, okay? So him bringing presents for his daughter is his responsibility. How her kids feel, her other kids feel, is not his. It is not his fault that she made mistakes by sleeping with multiple men and having multiple kids by multiple men. That is not his fault. And it's not his responsibility to make up for her failures, for her fault. This is this this is this is why a lot of people don't realize, right? Why? Although I don't, I'm, I'm not a lover of it, but this is why you don't understand or a lot of men give up the difficulties that women make it, the difficulties that women put on men's shoulders to like, f it. Like, I have to spend money. Like, this is the thing where, where people think that everyone is wealthy. They're not. They're very average. So now I have to spend hard-earned money to fight for my kids. And then if I fight for my kids, I may still be in situations like this. Okay? I may still be in situations like this. I may even lose and still have to pay that money. This is the thing where women put men in difficult situations all the time. And that's why a lot of men, for their mental health, for their mental health, for their, their sanity. Because a lot of men, right, over divorces, over children, just delete themselves, right? Because they their mental health. So a lot of men just give up. And again, it's terrible for the children, but at the end of the day, it's a mental health thing. And I'm not supporting that. I'm just saying that this is where no one understands the struggles men go through, the difficulties the men go through. 
He is trying to be a good father to his kids, not to some other man's kids. That's not his responsibility. But here's a woman who's deluded and has no accountability for her failures, right? For her actions. It is not his responsibility to take care, to worry about some other man's kids. It's hers because it's her kids, not his. And this is a sad part that we don't, we, we don't see, we don't recognize, we don't talk about. It, it's very sad. And I've been through like this guy and I understand. This is an unpopular opinion, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Do not give your child the father's last name if y'all are not married. And if the child's father is pressing the issue that bad, why y'all not already married? Here's the thing also, I guarantee you, she wouldn't say to, for men to not pay child support for any child that doesn't have his last name. And you know what's truly an unpopular opinion that women don't uh, stand in solidarity of? Like telling other women, don't have children with men that you're not married to. Now that is truly an unpopular opinion. Why did she leave that at the end? Okay. And it seems like she, she said it in a way that it's like, kind of a punishment or something right it's like oh he should just marry you no you should just out and out do not have kids with men that you're not married to that's plain and simple like women just don't come together and support that idea but they would definitely come together and be fine with emotionally manipulating men like this right men in this right where if a man wants a child to have his last name he most likely want to be an active part in his child's life. So what you do, uh, emotionally manipulate him and try to emotionally hurt him, okay? If you, if your uh, preference, your standards was, oh, you need to marry me before having kids, well then men would accept that. Most women, a lot of women, don't have that as a standard. So why would men even do it when women don't even back that up, right? Because marriage rates are down most women don't want to get married and their actions show it they don't the i'm strong independent thing well that shows you that if you're independent you don't need no man so why would you need to marry okay the most women are not raised to be housewives or not wait raised to be wives period well that shows you why would you need to be married like society shows or at least women show that they're not fit for marriage so most men think that okay well she's not really into marriage like that especially you know when it comes to the responsibilities that go with marriage what women care about is the wedding right the the ring and stuff like that but they never understand that marriage right there's a lot to it and a lot of women they won't understand that responsibility until they're in it but again at the end of the day no women or very few women back the notion or try to promote that you should have um, that your standard should be marriage before children and I'm all for that I I don't agree to marriage but if it's about having kids showing the stability and the, the strength of a family I, I, I support men getting married but only for having kids and I've said it again, I wanted to end this thing where I've always, women just give terrible advice. Women really give terrible advice. Okay? She said, pressing the issue, if he's pressing the issue, uh, if you are having kids with him, you should already have the, you should already make the issue of being married. But this is the thing, right? This is why I said, the whole thing is like, women just give bad advice. Okay? That's All right, it. I'm getting ready to go. You coming with you want me to come with you? You ain't gotta go if you don't want to. I mean, I'll go with you. I'm not sure. You sure? I mean, the game was about to come on. I'll just stay. I'll watch the game. So you ain't trying to spend no time with me, though? That's messed up. I'll go with you. I don't mind going. I'm just No, saying. no. Go ahead. Watch your game. It's cool. I mean, the game means more than I do, okay? Sorry, right, see. I know what that no, means. No, stay, because I don't need your attitude when I'm out. All right. Don't I'm rush sorry. me. Don't none of that. I know you didn't love me. Come Game on. means more. Now let's get this out of the way. It's probably a joke or a skit or whatever, but let's be honest. This shit happens. And this is why people don't even notice that women gaslight men 
plenty. In my honest opinion, they started it. They are the majority in modern day relationships, the one to gaslight. This is the thing where we don't see it, okay? The manipulation, the emotional manipulation. And let's say it's the flip on the, see, this is why we never think about how would it, how would it look on the other side, right? Where here's a woman talking about, okay, you don't love me. You're not doing this for me. Uh, why are you not doing this for me? Because you don't love me. But if it was on the flip side, if men were saying something that they would want, like let's say if they want sex, but she's too tired, uh, she doesn't want to do it, all this stuff, but the man gets mad at it and all this stuff, or he forces it and all this shit, he gaslight her into wanting it or into doing it. Women would be in an uproar if a man gaslight a woman, another woman, into feeling guilty for not giving her man attention or sexual attention and yet these occurrences of women doing these emotional games no woman ever okay talks about it how this is textbook example of gaslighting okay this is textbook example of emotional manipulation but no one no one cares about it because it's towards a man anything in this world if it's towards a man no one cares no one cares because men cannot be viewed ever as a victim as someone who's uh, could be sympathetic towards can feel you know that you should feel empathy towards that you should care about it. no one okay it, it, again like I said this is probably a stage or whatever but it, there's no don't be a fool to not think that this is happening in the real world it does and I've been in relationships where you will feel guilty okay for expressing how you how you feel for you will feel guilty for one of the things that you want here's a man that wants to relax and watch something that he enjoys his wife comes in or his girlfriend or whatever comes in and interrupts it okay say that does he want to come with her of course he doesn't, right? He wants to do, do something that he finds relaxing because men don't really find shopping relaxing, but, right, he would go with because why he loves her. This is the thing. Men would sacrifice their own mental health, their own enjoyment for the woman they love. But what do you do, right? You, you, don't, you don't appreciate it and you make men feel bad. You make men feel terrible for caring about you for ignoring their own feelings and thinking about yours. So you shoot it back and oh you don't you don't care about me. You you blah, blah, blah. oh don't rush me. Don't, then why do you see this those thing? Even when men try to think about you, women make it hard for men. This is the thing where you put men into situations where they can't win. Right? There's no winning. It's only a loss. How whatever he chooses. So and this is and we don't understand I think this is why relationships and marriages fail because of stuff like this because of true lack of emotional intelligence true lack of caring for your partner and I think the majority of the time in my personal opinion is on the women's side very little emotional intelligence She's very women are very emotional don't mean that they are emotionally intelligent especially towards other people's emotions okay they don't care about other people's emotions in my opinion and I think that's why a lot of marriages fail because you want to manipulate you want to gaslight you want to control the situation but it don't come out how you want it so you don't want to be in it okay I know this shit is staged right but let's not fool ourselves into thinking that shit like this does not happen actually in the real world. Okay, so watching this thing made me think. Women always wonder why men don't. Or men are not as active in, let's say, the children's lives or the marriage or whatever. Anything like, um, I had a, I had a, a fight with um, an ex because of um, I didn't help her with uh, applications for something okay but this is the thing where women don't understand when you chastise men for contributions right 
i.e. example like he's trying to contribute to the look the aesthetic of the house and yet you pretty much insult him or uh just throw his contribution away and then let's add that on it happens continuously men will just give up because why am i going to try when it will just backfire on me when it's not to the woman's liking it's not to your liking okay why am i going to constantly try when okay you won't like how i do it uh you don't like what i'm saying you don't like anything so why would men keep on trying this is the thing where that's why a lot of times men just ignore it men just don't try men just like give you the leeway the power and yet women find women get mad at that because oh he's not trying he's not why because you've created that environment this is the thing where women talk about, oh, safe space, safe space, all this thing. But women do not understand. Women are one of the perpetrators of creating toxic spaces. Okay? Women create toxic space, and they don't even know it. They create these toxic space for men, for men, partners, to not contribute. Because the, men are scared of, like, getting yelled at. Men are scared of having fights. Men are scared of being, like, talked down to. Men are scared to like, okay, if I'm going to uh, try this and she don't like it, she's going to yell at me. What? Uh, you never think about that? Women never think about that. How they do not create safe spaces for their partners. Okay? So their partners, so the, so the best way a man knows how to stay out of trouble is to stay out of trouble. To not say anything. To not try. To not put his two cents in anything. And then what? And then he still be chastised for. Oh, you don't try anything. You don't say anything. You don't contribute. You're not there for nothing. You're not da da da. <laughs> this is the thing, right? That, that see, that's that's the craziness of that's the craziness of women, because when men do try, you chastise them. So men don't. Men might not take the lead when it comes to their children, because even with their children, the mothers. The women would chastise them for it, right? For oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You can't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that for her. Don't do that. Then. So men just give up because they create these toxic spaces. Women make it seem like they have had hundreds of children, so they are so ex much more experienced. Because of, but he's a man. He's not experienced enough because he haven't had dozens of children, or that he's not a mother, so he doesn't know what he's doing. But a woman, because she's automatically a mother, she's she's like the connoisseur of being a parent. <laughs> this, this is the thing where women never understand. Women do not create safe spaces, especially for men.